Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? I had a good time at the con yesterday. I got to play in a game of Astonishing Swordsmen and Sorcerers of Hyperborea uh, run by the guy that wrote the game, uh, Jeffrey Talanian. So that was a lot of fun. And we played some other cool games, played a great Anomine game at the end of the night, and, and another uh, game, uh, uh, Desolantia, I think is the name of it, which I'll probably talk about uh, in the future. It's, it's a game in, in uh, construction, but it's pretty, pretty neat as well. But, uh, you know, I talked uh, a little bit about the advantage and disadvantage mechanic from 5th edition D&D &D and the mathematical implications of that in, in the video I did yesterday, I believe. Um, and I was thinking a little bit about it, uh, and I had like an alternative to it. And I'm not sold on this. I'm not advocating it. I'm just telling you this is something I kind of just toyed around with a little bit in my head. Because, you know, oddly enough, despite the fact that I'm not a big rules guy, I'm fascinated by game mechanics and probabilities. So, you know, you can go back and watch that video or, or look it up. But, you know, advantage and disadvantage is based on rolling 2d20. And if you're in, at, at an advantage, you take the highest. If you're at a disadvantage, you take the lowest. Rather than... You know, adding and subtracting up all these modifiers. That's what that's what they want to do uh, in that um, in that uh, mechanic in fifth edition. And you could use it anywhere if you'd like. But you know, one of the things that happens in that mechanic is it gives you an average. I think it's like um, in D20 terms, it gives you a plus 3.325. Um, but it's it's not linear. In the middle of it, it's a plus five. Near the ends, it's uh, it's you know a plus one or negative one, depending on what you're doing, because you're talking about all the 20 natural rolls you can make in a d20 and your target number. So if your target number is 11, if you're at an advantage, you know all of a sudden you have a plus five. If your target number is 20, you only really have a plus one. Um, so you know to me, at the point where you really need the advantage the most, when you're trying to hit really high numbers like 17 through 20. Uh, that's really the biggest advantage possible. And say you say you're a really tactical guy. You're not like me, but you've really done everything you could to put yourself in the right position to attack this, you know, horrific monster with a high armor class. Um, and you get a plus one or a plus two uh, based on that. What about something that would give you about a mathematically the same average, but it would be a little more flat? Uh, so I came up with something that was very random, but really close. And so here it is. You roll a d20 and a d6. Uh, if you are at an advantage. You add the d6 number to your d20 roll. If you're at a disadvantage, you subtract it. That comes out to um, a um, plus or minus 3.5. So pretty much in the ballpark, you know, it's close enough for government work. Uh, the normal average roll on a d20, what you're going to get is a 10.5. If you use a uh, 2d20 advantage mechanic from fifth edition, it's uh, you get an average roll of 13.82. Whereas if you use d20 plus d6, you get an average roll of 14. If you're calling yourself at a disadvantage using a 2d20 method, your disadvantage is 7.17. And if you use two, uh, d20 minus d6, your average roll is a 7. Uh, not so great in either case, but you know, them's the breaks. You're at a disadvantage. But what I really like, what, what happens with this, and, and once again, I'm not sold on this. I'm just saying this is what happens. You know, when, you hit a, when you're at a, trying to hit a 16 and you use the advantage, the 2d20 method, or the, uh, the d20 plus d6, it's about the same. Um, however... Once you uh, once you go to like uh, trying to hit a 17, um, well, a 17 is about 36% chance in an advantage and 37.5% chance of success with D20 plus D6. But all of a sudden, when you're trying to hit an 18, you've got a 27.75% chance of uh, success rolling the 2D20s, but you got a 32.5 chance of success rolling a D20 plus D6. If you're trying to hit a 19, you know you really don't have much of a chance. Um, you've got a 19% chance of success using the 2d20, take the highest method, but you've got a 27.5% chance of success using a d20 plus d6. And if you're trying to hit something with a 20, you know, you're a zero-level guy, you're trying to hit that guy with a 20 armor class, or, you know, zero armor class if you're like me, um, you've got a 9.75% chance of success using 2d20, but you've got a 22.5% chance of success using d20 plus d6. Uh, so, you know, it's... Plus or minus, you know, three and a half nominally all across the, the 20 natural rolls. However, they can be anywhere from plus one to plus six or negative one to negative six, depending on how that other die rolls. A little more work. Like I said, I'm not sold on it. But another way to skin the cat and get it uh, some modifier if you really don't want to uh, take the time and just say, okay, well, I have a plus three in this situation. So there you have it. Another way to skin the cat. You decide.